Goodbye, Tesla. China is the new EV bestseller. That's right. China has been absolutely destroying the big EV names recently, and one brand in particular has been leading this mind-blowing revolution. They've been offering vehicles that are much cheaper compared to well-established rivals, while also offering higher levels of quality and practicality than them. What brands are we talking about, and what does this mean for the future of the EV segment? Join us and get ready to say goodbye to Tesla, because China is going to become the new EV bestseller. China has, for the past three decades, been the world's fastest developing industry. Virtually everybody outsourced all the hard work that needed to be done directly to China, as they offered affordable labor, while also being industrially fairly developed. This granted said companies an even bigger profit than ever, as they kept the same prices for their product while requiring considerably smaller production fees. On the other hand, the companies didn't indulge in exporting their work to China, such as, for example, Tesla needed to overinflate their prices so they too could earn a similar amount of money per unit. Well, unfortunately for those companies, the demand for simple, affordable vehicles will always be present in the world. And that was especially present during the recent economic crisis. During the height of the crisis, prices of regular cars skyrocketed, and so did the demand for those cheaper vehicles, as wages all around the world simply couldn't keep up with the extreme rise of prices. Seriously. A Volkswagen Golf cost around $20,000 only four years ago, and now you can't find them for less than $30,000. Who would even give so much money for a simple family hatchback? On the other hand, the desire for EVs has skyrocketed in the past few years, and the offerings from manufacturers have been fairly overwhelming, to say the least, as most companies aren't seriously investing in EVs at the moment, and they're still treating it as a niche market. Well, that's exactly where China jumped in with their all-new car brand a few years ago, and they've managed to completely dominate the entire car market in a single swing. What brand are we talking about? The Chinese brand in question is in fact the long-defunct British MG, which has recently been bought and produced by the Chinese. MGs have, in the past, been the makers of small, sporty vehicles before they were virtually turned into a Rover subsidiary that turned their vehicles, which led to their inevitable end. The new and revised MG isn't a brand that makes half-baked sporty versions of Rovers, as it once did. No, the revised version of the MG is actually producing sensible electric vehicles that are meant for the masses. You'd actually be surprised to know that the MG brand was actually in Chinese ownership for the past 15 years. However, they've only recently started making EVs and proper vehicles that are actually desired by the masses. Now, speaking of fully electric vehicles, MG's most affordable EV is by far the MG ZS EV, which has been built on their already popular compact crossover, the MG ZS. The ZS EV offers a higher range compared to its direct competitors, like the Peugeot E 2008, while also being $10,000 cheaper than it. Plus, its power output isn't actually pathetic, as it can produce up to 150 horsepower, and an even stronger version is about to enter production. Granted, the MG ZS EV won't win any prizes design-wise. However, it's far from a hideous car. It's just a bit dull for our taste. Thankfully, the MG4, which was the company's first EV that was built from the ground up, is everything but dull. Honestly, they've done a cracking job with it design-wise. The exterior is uniquely radical, however, it's still considerably more conservative than the Volkswagen ID3, and we prefer it to its German rival. It's not as handsome as the Tesla Model Y, but it's almost half of what the Model Y goes for, not to mention the interior build quality, which is evidently better than what the Volkswagen has to offer. Plus, the interior in itself is actually a pretty good place to be in, and it actually feels quite premium on the inside. Plus, the design and layout of the whole interior is very reminiscent of other, far more premium vehicles. For example, the gear shifter of the MG4 is taken straight out of a Jaguar XJ, and honestly, we adore it. It fits the car's quirky character quite well. And believe it or not, this car will set you a fairly low price of $30,000 to $35,000, which is considerably less than its companion. Now, finally, if you don't care about trends nor looks and you're looking for a no-nonsense EV, the MG5 EV will be the right choice for you, and you'll have a roomy interior that's been made using high-quality materials, a drivetrain that is more than sufficient for your everyday needs and above all else, a 300-mile range, making it extremely daily usable. However, MG hasn't abandoned its roots in making sporty and thrilling vehicles. Their piece de resistance, which is their upcoming MG Cyberster, definitely proves this. This little electric roadster will effectively pull the rug under Tesla's feet. The Cyberster is a direct competitor to the Tesla Roadster that costs exactly three times less, and unlike the Roadster, the Cyberster is an actual production car. Honestly, we adore it. 
Take a look at that happy front face that's been very beautifully complemented by the cheery backside of the car. And check out those automatic butterfly doors, akin to something you'd find on a Lamborghini and not an up-and-coming Chinese manufacturer. Oh, and don't let us start with the interior. First of all, it's loaded with great tech, and it feels very modern and stylish. The quality is on another level, as the materials used are nothing short of premium level, and the design of it is definitely something special, and it seriously looks like a modern amalgamation of the Toyota Supra MK4 and the Honda S2000. It's completely driver-oriented, and it should be, because this car will pack some serious punch. There will be two drivetrains available, a single-motor RWD, 300 horsepower, one that will go from 0 to 60 in around 5 seconds, and a literal monster of a drivetrain that will be powered by two motors. It'll be all-wheel drive, offer 536 horsepower at its disposal, and it'll go from 0 to 60 in 3 seconds flat. Both of these cars will cost less than $90,000, with a 300 horsepower version costing a little less than $70,000, which easily makes it the best option on the market. Not to mention, the only option on the market, as there are no other true EV sports cars currently on offer. Looking at you, Tesla, your Roadster has been promised to us four years ago, and we have yet to see one in person. Oh, and if you're not keen on EVs and would like to explore a more traditional vehicle, MG's got you covered there too as their vast range of affordable vehicles will surely fill your needs with ease. We'd recommend the MG EHS above other traditional cars in MG's fleet, as it has almost 260 horsepower under the bonnet, which is also extremely economical. MG states that the car will be able to do more than 100 miles per gallon, which easily makes it one of the best hybrids on the road. And its price tag is also $5,000 to $10,000 lower than the equivalent Volkswagen Tiguan hybrid. MG is truly pushing it to the limit with their vehicles, and we're thrilled that they're doing so, as they'll kickstart a major revolution in the entire EV segment. What does this mean for the future of the EV segment? All of this essentially means that if other larger companies want to actually compete with MG, they'll have to seriously reimagine their marketing and sales strategies. MG has been the best-selling brand in the UK, both EV and traditional, and it's been climbing the ladder in the rest of the world extremely quickly as well, as its low prices and fantastically good financing terms keep driving buyers to them and away from those other well-established manufacturers. Now, we know what you're thinking of currently, the infamous Chinese build quality. We've all heard horror stories that concern items and appliances made in China, especially those that are considerably cheaper than the competition. However, you can rest assured in this case, as all MGs come with a 7-year warranty, similar to what Kia and Hyundai did 10 years or so ago. In fact, MG's entire marketing strategy is awfully similar to the one that Kia and Hyundai utilized, as it has been extremely lucrative for all three companies, as they managed to integrate themselves fairly easily into the world market with it. And what's more, MG's track record in the UK, Europe, and Asia has been very clean and their vehicles are very reliable for the money, awfully close to the Japanese offerings, which is great news. In fact, this strategy will push other manufacturers to up their game reliability-wise too, and they'll have to start offering quality vehicles if they plan to keep the prices as high as they currently are. They'll also be forced to lower the prices of their vehicles, so MG might actually be the forefront of cheap EVs. Unfortunately, there are a couple of problems concerning MG, and the biggest one by far is the fact that MG vehicles are not available on the North American market. MG has decided against pursuing the U.S. market, as they believe that their vehicles won't exactly be popular there, as, first of all, they're made and assembled in China, which isn't the best relations with the U.S., and second of all, there isn't a market for cheap econo boxes in the U.S. other than Toyota's and Honda's offerings. And plus, even though they're fairly cheap in the rest of the world, doesn't mean that they'd be cheap in the U.S., as the import taxes from vehicles from China are fairly larger there compared to, for example, Europe. They might start exporting in the future, however, that too isn't certain. The company certainly isn't planning on doing so for the next few years. Who knows, maybe the Cyberster will be the vehicle that could pave the way into the U.S. market, as the demand for fully electric sports cars is high all around the world. Also, albeit we can't argue with the reliability and the prices of MG's offerings, we most certainly can critique their design and their very evident lack of originality. All of MG vehicles most certainly seem to have been inspired by other manufacturers. Let's take a look at the MG ZS. At the back, its design is very reminiscent of the Opel Astra K and the Volkswagen T-Roc. At the front, we can easily see a fair bit of Mazda's CX-5's design 
combined with the Volvo XC40, and the overall shape of the car looks very similar to a Nissan Qashqai. Even the stunning Cyberster is guilty of a bit of plagiarizing, as the front of the car looks very much like a cross between a BMW Z4 and an Alpine A110, whereas the back, which is a tad more original, does seem to take inspiration from the recent Volvo and Polestar models, especially the L-Profile taillights. Still, despite their lack of originality, MG has come a long way since they were acquired by the Chinese, and their designs do make them fairly desirable, and they are quite good-looking cars, to say the least. And plus, their design language has been evolving, and they're starting to look more and more original as time goes by, which means that we'll have cheap, handsome, original, and above all else, high-quality EVs very shortly. Just not in the US, it seems. Oh well, you can't win them all, can you? Well, there is good news concerning affordable cars in the US, too, as Elon Musk just announced that Tesla will be making a $20,000 Tesla, which is the answer to all our prayers. If you'd like to learn more about it, be sure to check out this video.